All right, Shalom. Call Allah Yim La. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakaf Wadash. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me this truth. Salutations to you, Ankim, out there in the four corners, laboring in this truth, pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you, confusion face, brothers, so don't look like average, everyday Israelites, but you are according to the Holy Spirit. To you, Yahweh Shalom. This is the brother Kaya Ha here. Uh, so I can, this is the brother Kaya Ha here coming back at you with another video through the Spirit. And I'm going to just go in real quick on, um, you know, just touching based on how Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, how we were scattered throughout the four corners of the world, you know, literally, because we disobeyed the laws, statutes, and the commandments of our Heavenly Father, our Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And the Lord said that that was going to happen if we didn't observe and do all of the uh, laws, statutes, and commandments that He had gave us, that He had gave to Moses. When uh when he went to um Mount when he went to top Mount Sinai and came back with the um with the commandments, man. All right. The Lord said he was gonna jack us up, and that's exactly why Israel, us being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, the Israelites, the real true chosen people, that's why we jacked up today. All right. But without further ado, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four, verse twenty seven. It says, And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. All right. And that's like I said, that's going on right now. OK, we still under the curses. OK, so you how about Shema Shah said what? He said, and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, because in every single part of the world from Africa because we still got brothers over there, like on the western parts, all right? India, Asia, Europe, okay? You get the point, but on every on every single side of the world, there are Israelites in very few number, okay? It was um one of the brothers from the uh from the um I think it was the, the Bay Area camp. I forget the brother's name, Shalaka, but he had did a video talking about how it's um this Mexican heritage in the Philippines. Okay, so you got Issachar over there in the Philippines, man. All right. And um, whatchamacallit, you got uh, over there in uh, India, you got the Dali, you know, and Lord, uh, Lord willing, one day I'm going to go into that a little bit more. You know, the Lord put the spirit on me to do it because you, you got, like I said, you got Israelites all over the world, man. Okay. That's what it means when it says, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Okay? And like I was saying, um, over there in India, you, you got you got the um, a, a people called the Dalit, and they're outcasts of the so-called Indian society. All right? They they have a uh, like real dark skin, you know, and they live in the poorest parts of the neighborhood, you know. So many of them could be Jake. All right, and they, they look like them them um them Elamites. All right, but they are Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. Okay, verse 28, it says, And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. Okay, and that's that's what's going on across the whole world as well. So because we went off in the ancient world, Yahabba Shema Shah has set us up to serve other gods in strange lands. All right, we, we serve in, well, two-thirds mainly, is serving um uh, strange gods, man. But it really happened to the whole nation of Israel as a you know as a whole, you know, started serving um started serving gods that are no gods. All right, the gods of the heathen nations, okay. We serving the uh, the gods that the uh, that the Arabs serve. All right, that you saw the so called white man serve the um the Africans, okay. And, I, and and like like it says, every single nation, we serving strange gods, okay. But the elect is going to be able to wake up out of that. All right. So with that being said, let me get this in the book of Deuteronomy still. The 28th chapter. All right. Going into the curses. And let me get this in um in verse 37. All right. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And uh, Salaki, I met, always, also meant to um, say... It was a video I had did the other day. I think I accidentally said uh, Deuteronomy, the 24th chapter. So lucky for, uh, for that. I had slipped. I meant the 28th chapter, you know. 
going into the curses. All right. But with that aside, this is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 37. It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. All right. Like the example I brought up earlier, going into the, um, the, uh, the Dalit, all right. The people of East Indian, uh, well, the people over there, um, in India, all right. A lot of them are Israelites, okay? And I had um looked this up on Google to see what that word Dalit meant, okay? It says Dalit people. Dalit meaning broken, scattered. In Sanskrit and Hindi is a term mostly used for the castes in India that have been subjected to untouchability, okay? Untouchability, that means they, they just leave those people alone. All right. They don't they don't deal with them. So that could mean that, like I said earlier, man, they they, they could be Jake. All right. It says Dalits were excluded from the four fold Varna system of Hinduism and were seen as forming a fifth Varna, also known by the name of Panchama. But but that was the point. The word Dalit means broken and scattered. And like I read in Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, all right, the 27 and 28 verses. Okay, Israel was scattered. Israel is broken. We are a broken people. Okay, because we went off before the eyes of the Lord, man. Okay, so let's go back to the scriptures. It says, Thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Okay, and like I said, man, that's what's going on right now to this very day. Jake, we still under the curses. All right, the Lord has not redeemed his people yet. But he, but he, he's coming back to do that, and we're not going to be uh, a proverb, okay? Jake is not going to be a Dalit or the um the outcast of any other, you know, heathenistic society. You know, Jake is not going to be a, a, a Greek no more. Jake is not going to be an African American. Jake is not going to be a Black, Latino, or Native American no more, okay? We're going to be Israelites, which is our righteous name, okay? It says, among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Yeah, you know, that's the point. Let me get this. In the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 7, it says, O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day, to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off. Through all the countries, whether thou has driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. All right. Now going into that that um that phrase uh, confusion of faces. You got a lot of you got uh, a lot of jakes across the world who look like the heathen. Okay, but that's why you know being an Israelite is a spiritual thing because if you look at the actions of that person, you know, and and if the curse is fit pursuing a Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, you can see that 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 person may be an Israelite as well. Okay, it's a spiritual thing. All right, they live in the, the low class, the poverty areas, the poverty stricken areas. Okay. They they subject to um a, a lot of payments. You know, you gotta watch out for that too, because you saw the so-called white man. You got everybody in slavery right now. All right. But it's it's mainly in the in the so-called ghettos, you know, any any Almost any outcast group in any nation, a lot of them may be Israelites, man. All right? So we got brothers who look like Esau, the so-called white man, that look like the so-called East Indian man, look like Africans, all right? And look like Arabs and so on and so forth. We were scattered all throughout the world, man. All right? Because it says what? It says, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but un unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to the men of Judah. All right? Southern tribe. And into the inhabitants of Jerusalem, all right, southern tribe and northern tribe, you know, you see a lot of um northern tribes. They look like they look like Arabs or something, or they look like so-called white people. But nah, because they they go through the curses and stuff too. Okay, it says, and unto all Israel that are near in are far off. All right, like like the scriptures say, we got scattered. Okay. Let me read down. It says, O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. And that's the point. All right, we trust we trespass the law, statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh Shimon Hawashah. 
So that's why we got. That's why it's, it's so hard for us to tell who our brothers are, you know. Because they trespass against the Lord, and it's it's a curse to look like another nation. Okay, but again, that's why that's why great millstone. All right, any sincere brothers pushing and teaching the true doctrine of the holy scriptures of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. That's why we don't we don't deal with black people. We are not black Hebrew Israelites. Are right? we are Hebrew Israelites? All right, and we're all different types of shades of 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 um uh, colors, man. All right. Matter of fact, it's, uh, it's a scripture like that. Yeah, let me go ahead and get that. I believe it's in the book of Amos. Um, Israel. San C. Something along them lines. Slack, yeah, I can just bear with me. Okay, Khan, Khan. This is the book. Um, this is the book of Hosea. Salak you. It says, the, "This is the book of Hosea, chapter one, verse ten. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Okay. It says, Yet the children." Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which means what? It's it's a lot of Israelites out here. That's also going into how we look like we 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 are we just different we just different shades, man. You know, you got some real light skinned Israelites, you got some real dark skinned Israelites. Okay, because when you look at sin, it's not just one color. All right, it's a bunch of different colors. You know, and it's it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, pieces when you when you when you pick it up. It's a lot of pieces. All right. And that's how the nation of Israel is measured. Well, that's how the nation of Israel is like, man. It's, it's a whole bunch of us across the whole world. Okay? But that was the point on that. Let me go ahead and get this. And then I'm going to close it out. It's in the Apocrypha. So I get Alright, this is the, um, the Book of Baruch, Chapter 4. I believe it's 28. No, it wasn't. It's it's not um Salakia. I know it's chapter four though. Scattered. Reproach. Okay, con, 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 con. Yep. This book, um, this is the book of Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. It says, "Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, with that has scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments, according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power." Okay, and that's that's the point, man. All right, we are still in captivity. We we still we still under subjection to the heathen. All right, just for this moment, because. Our forefathers went off, and we are our forefathers coming back. All right, so we we still dealing with the curses according to the holy according to the holy scriptures. All right, we still cursed. All right, because of the because of our iniquities against the Most High. All right, not following the law, statutes, and the commandments, bowing ourselves down to other gods. All right, and Yahweh Hashem Hashem has scattered us according to our ways. The scriptures talk about that too. All right. It says, and to be subject to payments. All right, that's that's a curse, man. We are subject to payments. All right, we're paying life insurance, car insurance. We're paying bills, rent, and all of the rest of this, this wicked stuff, man. All right, we're still under the curses, you know? But like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. It was just, you know, just just trying something new out through the spirit, man. Lord willing, Akim was edified, you know, by Shemra Kakwadash. Call Allah, Yahabashim, Ha'ashah. Hey, Shalom.